My name is Reem Khalil and we're going to do an art project of a sunflower based off the book Sunflower Lion. This is our sunflower. Materials that you need are going to be a pencil with an eraser, watercolor paper, watercolor paint, a paintbrush, a water container, paper towel, oil pastels, and a creative heart. We're gonna work on some shapes. I've got in the inside circle, a larger outside circle, a curved line for the petals, and we're gonna do that same line twice to make the petal shape, and two lines for the stem. So we're gonna begin on a watercolor piece of paper, and I'm gonna use a darker pencil to show this project. I'm gonna draw the inner circle And then you're gonna draw an outside circle and just for this part, you want to draw it nice and light, but I'm gonna draw it a little bit darker so you can see it. So it kinda looks like a donut. Then you're gonna create your curve lines to begin the petal. And we're gonna bring each swoop up to that outer circle, like so. And go around the small circle, creating your curve lines all the way to the outside circle. Then we're gonna create the petal shape by taking the curve on the opposite side and bringing that back to the line. And you can turn your page. And then in between where the sunflower meets, we have smaller petals in between. So we're gonna make our swoop come up and back down in between. And again, back up and down in between. Let's add one more right there. We bring our page back and you're going to erase the outside circle. And so in this case, Since I used a darker pencil, I'm just gonna leave mine and I'm going to use the green to incorporate a stem coming down from the bottom. And in nature, they're not totally straight, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a curve happening and have it come down. Then, just like we did with our petal shape, we're going to create the curve line for the stem and the leaf. We're gonna put our pencils down and we're gonna grab our oil pastels. And what I like to do with the oil pastels is I take my yellow that I know that I'm gonna use the colors. I wanna use yellow, I wanna use orange. I'm gonna take a little bit of the brown and greens for my stem. So now I know what colors I'm gonna have ready for me and I'm gonna take my oil pastel and I'm gonna draw over my lines, outlining my circle and then my petals, all outlined in oil pastel. And if you wanna make any adjustments, this is a good time to have your artistic freedom 
Okay, and once that's done, I'm gonna put my yellow down. I'm gonna pick up my green and go over my stem. And after you draw your outline with your oil pastels, you put your oil pastels down and we're going to put in some pollen in our center with just some dots with your orange, a little bit of brown, just in the pollen so it shows the seeds. That's what the center of a sunflower is. Then you're going to pick up your paintbrush and this is considered a wet on wet technique. We're gonna wake up our watercolors, drop a little bit of water inside your yellow, inside your orange. The colors we're gonna be using, green, a little bit of brown, and we're gonna use blue at the very end. So we're gonna get our brush nice and wet. We're gonna run in with just water inside of our sunflower. Just painting with water to get the watercolors to move and dance across the petals. Then I'm going to pick up some yellow, twirling my brush into the pigment. Add that into my palette right here. And I'm gonna pick up some orange and add a little bit of orange there so it's nice blending. And I'm gonna go back into my flower petals and I'm gonna add the color. And as you see with the water already in there, the watercolors dance across the petals. See how nice they move? And in nature, not all flowers are the same colors. You'll see different colors coming through. So you might wanna add a little bit of orange as you're painting through, add a little more yellow. If you feel like your brush is drying out, you can add more water. And if you notice, the oil pastels keep the watercolors from running outside of the flower. That works like a resist, it's a block. Because in science, oil and water don't mix, so art and science are really fun. Okay, now we have our petals all colored in, and if you wanna add a little more later, you can go back and add a little bit of yellows and oranges to brighten up those colors. Then we're gonna go into the center of our pollen, and I'm gonna add a little bit of green to my yellow for my pollen. And I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of that brown to the green for my stem. And now to have our beautiful sunflower pop in the sky, I like to take a blue oil pastel, and I'm just gonna do a rubbing across the background. So it gives me a contrast complementing the sunflower. And I like to use the side of my oil pastel to cover a wider area, but you can choose to use the top or the side. And to complete our little masterpiece, we're gonna wet our brush, paint over the oil pastel with just water, try to stay away from the flower, just doing the background. And 
and we're gonna do a nice pickup of blue and let that dance across the background for a nice blue sky and it'll complement our sunflower. You have a beautiful texture. And voila, your sunflower. Have fun.